welcome to back to the bible today's topic the angels a message for the world in the rush of department store shopping at christmas time we rarely pay much attention to the muzak it's usually not much more elevating than rudolph the red nosed reindeer or jingle bells but on the street corners stand the faithful salvation army people singing old carols like silent night it is worth stopping to listen and to think of the words silence note other carols in which it is mentioned the world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing how silently how silently the wondrous gift is given why do the authors speak of silence I think because of the awe with which they regard the miracle of Christ's nativity. The shepherds must have been lying quietly when the angels came suddenly and the glory of God dazzled them and the hosts began to sing. But I imagine they were stunned to silence when they reached the manger. They could not have understood much about this tiny child. but they certainly understood that this was no ordinary birth we know who he was for we have the whole of the scripture prophecy and history he was god in visible physical form lying in that straw under the streaming muzzles of the dear animals gazed on with solemn gratitude by the virgin mother and her husband he was the god who made the earth the lord of hosts the almighty the ancient of days the infinite majesty who humbled himself and came to this planet in a mysterious way every one of us comes born of a woman why did he come it was for you and for me that child was born for us a savior christ the lord Was there ever such a humbling such a sacrificial love it is an everlasting love can we refuse it can we doubt its constancy the following words are taken from it came upon the midnight clear by edmund h sears yet with the woes of sin and strife the world has suffered long beneath the heavenly strain have told 2000 years of wrong and man at war with man hears not the tidings which they bring o hush the noise ye men of strife and hear the angels sing verse for today then the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people luke chapter 2 verse 10 also read Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 14 your step for today find a quiet place and think about the message of the angels does it make any difference in your life write down what sort of difference prayer for today respond in thankfulness for specific meanings of the angels message that have come to your mind during this quiet time God bless you.